this quick video we're going to cover what is strep A and how it's going to impact your child or your loved one and basically what you need to know about it and how it gets treated for you. There are many infections currently going around however strep A has hit the news and causing a lot of concern in terms of how to understand that from another type of infection that unfortunately can be really difficult particularly considering a lot of the initial symptoms are exactly the same as a viral infection so you will typically see someone have a temperature, headaches, aches, feel a bit sick potentially and these are common with all types of viral infections as well which there are lots of those around including things like the flu and COVID still. In terms of understanding the difference the key things to look out for is a sandpapery type of rash in people of lighter skin colours this will typically look red a bit like sunburn in those of darker skin colours unfortunately you may not see any colour changes but it will feel quite rough. Additionally, the tongue may change, in particular it goes quite red and has a like a white coating, it's nicknamed the strawberry tongue. On the face you may also see some red kind of rash around the face and a little bit of blistering sometimes as well, but that doesn't always happen again in darker skinned people, unfortunately it may not be as noticeable. Key things to look out for is how your child is responding with those particular symptoms. If you see any of those rashes and things, take a good photo, that can be really useful and send it to your local practice if they've asked you how to do that because that will help them understand how to see your child safely and give you proper advice. In terms of other things to be aware of, obviously if you are given paracetamol and ibuprofen, which we would recommend to do if your child is uncomfortable and hot and safe to do so, and they're not responding to that, or if they're having difficulty with fluids so that they're not passing urine, or any change in their breathing, or if they're just basically not their normal self, then absolutely seek medical advice. Other things to check are a COVID test. This is just to rule that out because actually that may change how the practice may have to see you or your child. If an assessment is needed, your practice will then advise you of the various different treatments. In terms of treating strep infections, there's common things that you see with all types of infections, so plenty of fluids, paracetamol, ibuprofen for pain and temperature when appropriate. But actually we do use an antibiotic called penicillin, which is used to treat the infection but very effectively. This course is typically 10 days and does need to be completed, otherwise the infection can sometimes bounce back, even if your child seems to be improving. And those who are genuinely penicillin allergic, you may be given other types of treatment like clarithromycin. Important to remember, all antibiotics sometimes can cause stomach symptoms. These are common side effects, not allergy-based symptoms. But your practice team or pharmacist will be able to give you more advice on those particular aspects. If despite this your child continues to get unwell or if you're concerned, obviously you may need to seek further advice at that point. If you'd like more information, then check out the links down below on this post. That will direct you to the NHS.UK website, as well as further resources you may want to have a look at.